Heroin belongs to the class of drugs known as opiates, which include morphine, Dilaudid, fentanyl, and oxycodone. Opiates can be useful in medicine by reducing pain, but they also act on the pleasure system in the brain, which influences our most primal behaviors. This system is responsible for the pleasurable effect of heroin and the addictive power. Because it reaches our most primitive behavior centers, the drive it creates is more powerful than other areas involved in intelligent thought. I've heard heroin users describe it as an enveloping warmth comfort or a peaceful feeling that transcends all normal senses. Now often, users who would never dream of shooting drugs, they begin by smoking or sniffing heroin, but over time, tolerance develops. Opiates work by stimulating receptors in the brain and throughout our body. Tolerance happens when overstimulation causes the receptors to become less sensitive, in a similar way that odors become less noticeable after you smell them too long. As the effect becomes less powerful, users begin chasing the dragon. That's a reference to the smoke of opium, and that drives them to escalate their use to higher doses and eventually injecting it to get the fastest, most potent effect. Just like we're wired to eat when we're hungry or sleep when we're tired, in time, heroin becomes a need that cannot simply be overcome by mind over matter.